<gasps> yes, yes, no, 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 I want Reginald, I want Reginald, get off. Hello, Shotgun Squirrel here, and welcome back to another episode of Countdown to Infinite. Uh, we're on episode 8, and it's a mission 9, Cortana, which is a flood level, and it is a really gross, horrible flood level. I actually remember playing this one on Legendary with a friend, and <laughs> the way we got by it was just one of us would just stay back in the next room, and the other one would just charge in, die, respawn, charge in, die, respawn. I'm not, not sure that's exactly how it was meant to be <laughs> beaten on Legendary, but that's how we did it back in the day. Um, yeah, this one is going to have a lot of gross creatures um to fight which is all good fun but yeah this is going to be we're on high charity which at the end of halo 2 if you recall was um getting taken over by the flood um and that's where we left cortana when we got off in the spaceship to finish the fight well we're gonna get cortana back oh here we go what um sorry about that that was a bit weird go Stupid sync settings. At least it was better now than like midway through the cutscene. And ah, oh, look at that nice landing. That makes a change for him. Are you getting out of it? Let's go on. There you go. Yeah, gross. Chief, I'll round up our survivors. Fall back to the dawn. All oh, very nice. Arbiter will do the same with the elites. <laughs> Cortana's in there somewhere. All right, here we go. So I don't remember this level very well. To be fair, I've not remembered a lot of the Halo levels, Halo Three levels. I've been quite disappointed in myself actually with my lack of um, memory. Are you guys just chilling? Are you gonna? Oh no, you are coming for me now. Um. Yeah, they, you can but blow these things up and they release more. Oh, okay. And that's still... I might take that. Actually, that might be quite good. Oh, no. I need this for the hobby thing, so... Why do I hear monsters? I don't like that. Oh, uh, yeah. I've actually been disappointed with how little I remember of Halo 3. Um, but I'll know this one less than most because... Oh, least less, less than most? Yeah, less than most. Because uh, we didn't like the flood levels back when these games came out. So, we never replayed them. Um, right, let's go this way. Have I got a torch? I don't remember if I have a torch in this game. Oh, no, that's it. No, thank you. Stay down. No, I said... Wee? Oh, my God, how many shots do you... Oh, right, okay. All right. This is, this is uncomfortable. Right, you're gone. You're just going to stand there and wait for me. That's very kind of you. Cool. Look at him. He's very, very conscientious there. Oh, all right. There's a sword there. I would like that if I can get it. I didn't realise that the sword rifle is actually... Oh, shit. Well, not getting that sword now. God, is it amazing here? Oh, no. You can go through these, like, weird... Yeah, that's a weird thing. I guess it's, those are the original doors, maybe? <gasps> oh. Child of my enemy, why have you come? I offer no forgiveness. The father's sins pass to his son. Alright. It is weird that he talks in riddles. Like, where did he learn these riddles from? <gasps> oh, it's the creepy ones. It's the creepy spidey ones. Die. Oh, Cortana, I'm in the middle of combat. Cortana, this is not the time. Oh. Did I kill them? Oh, here they come. I actually remember this is the room I was talking about with the uh, with the hiding. One of us would stay up there and the other one would just keep dropping down. Can you get lost, please? Can you able to click the uh, reload button twice? It's really annoying. I don't know if that's my controller being funny or what. Maybe I should just use all the bullets and it'll reload for me. Alright. Anyone? You coming down? You stand up there. Alright, you stay up there, that's fine. I'm gonna reload cheeky reload. Oh, carrier forms, goodbye. I very rarely I've noticed from playing this, I very rarely used any of the abilities. Like bubble shield. Oh, stop changing, you're changing the juggernauts. So the juggernauts are actually a 
an enemy that was originally planned for Halo 2, but they ran out of time to implement it. Um, and then they've obviously added it into these transforming forms. I don't believe they were ever going to have transforming forms in Halo 2. I believe it was just the juggernauts, these guys. Um, but they didn't get to implement in Halo 2, so they implemented them here. Ah. Oh, I seem to be in a dark sphincter. That's not fun. Right, can you... God, it takes many hits. Oh, yeah, fuck, we've got the leader, guys. Shit, 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 shit. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no. Yeah, I just realised I really, very rarely use the, these abilities. I don't know if it's like a bit like the power weapon thing with Halo games, where you like you get the rocket launcher and you never use it because you never know when you might need it. Right, let's get down from there, please. Oh, I thought we died. Oh no. Right. Can you... So I'm trying to think. Do they just have two forms? The transforming creatures. They have the juggernaut form and the needler form. Yeah, the the ranged form and then obviously the one in between but the one between just seems to jump around and then transform it doesn't have anything special itself from what I can tell um, let's see if I can get these needler form guys oh it didn't go red so I didn't know if it was home in but it did hi how are you doing oh you're on a oh fuck me come on I've got to sync this up you go one way I'll go that way that's it oh that's out of ammo that's great. That's what I wanted wanted to happen. Um, we're gonna need a weapon. Um, is there a weapon around here? Cool. All right. That's where we are now. Right. Can I get right? right that one's gone. Oh, you're running at me quite fast. Okay. Ah, right. Well, actually does a pretty good job against them. Nice. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, what do you want? And more. There's so many of them. I think they're a really cool addition, though. Like, to the, um... To the hate, to the flood. Give this flood this new transforming enemy. It makes them really... Builds upon... Oh, here we go. Of course you came for her. We exist together now. Two corpses in one grave. Yeah, I remember that line. That's a good line. Um, but yeah, no, I love the, the, the transforming. It's such a good thing for the flood. Collection for this. of lies. That's all I am. Stolen thoughts and memories. Oh, okay. And yet... Perhaps a part of her remains. <laughs> <sighs> Does it come, come to the point we have less of the creepiness? Like, that's just... We don't need any of that. Let's just be happy and friends. So let's all love each other very much. Um, I just want my train of thought now. It's terrible. Hmm. Just looking outside the window now. Um... No, nope, completely gone. No idea what I was saying. I'm sure it was important at some point, maybe. I wouldn't get my hopes up, though. Right, so there we're now going to... Oh, yeah, I was talking about it's, it's a it's a good um, evolution to have um, the Flood transform. Because that's their, that's their uniqueness in this game. They are, you know... They, they transform, obviously, elites and brutes. and they're, they're, They are varied. Oh, freaking hell, actually, we jump there. Um... But, uh, so to have them, like, actually trans have transforming types it works out quite well for the old, um, how they play in the game. You seem to, uh, I don't know, I'm quite impressed with that. Good, good job. Um, and I, I loved how they've grown as, uh, an enemy set from, like, when the first game where they would just randomly come back to life after you killed them. And then mm, uh, they'd randomly come back to life when he killed them. Then they would come back to life if a, a poppy thing got on them. And then they actually came to life. They actually tra physically transformed and they could tr transform um, 
you actually visually saw them transform rather than just a poppy thing jump on it and then boom there's something now flood for form which is really cool to see that that improvement Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, no, they do attack. They do attack in their non-transformed form. I kind of just thought they wouldn't do that. Because it's not even like it's a middle ground. It's not like they have the Juggernaut, which is, like, super tanky. And then they have the ranged, which is obviously super ranged but weak. And then they have a middle one, which is slightly ranged and slightly strong. Or, you know, it's a completely different. It just runs at you and hits you. Which therefore means the Juggernaut is probably always better. I guess the only thing is the Juggernaut is slow. But then the Juggernaut can... Can, like, run. Oh, it can charge at you, I think. But I mean, right. Everyone dead? Can I speak with you, please? Yes, Cortana, you, you can. Where, where are you? You're a little it's bit okay. creepy. Um, it's John. It's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I think she's really living memories. Come on. I think another good thing about adding these juggernaut creatures is it. It, it um, gives the, ver the flood levels where you just fight flood more variety as well. Because obviously you get ranged enemies depending on their weapon. And you obviously they charge at you, which is quite good, you know, jump on you. And you get the poppy things, which are sort of like a... They only really have a use to weaken you over time. Distract you, maybe. Um, but other than that, that, that's all you used to get from the flood levels. is just, you know, jumping at you, the poppy things, carriers which explode, I guess. But that's about it. Now, obviously, you get Juggernaut. So you've got, like, basically the Hunter variants. Um, and then you've got... See, they can move still relatively fast. Oh, let's uh, switch this, I think. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, I can kill them. I couldn't remember if the boot shot worked like a sword. Oh, hello. Danny, come. You still alive? Not anymore. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. I did not see Mr. Juggernaut behind me. Ah, oh, what? Oh, it's not too bad, I guess. Come on. I think it would be cool if the um, the ones that transformed required like the uh, poppy things to be on them, like they required the biomass to be able to transform. But because then you, then you could have the strategy of, oh, okay, let's make sure we get no more poppy things to that creature. But I think that might be a bit much. Hello. Right. Uh, well, I'm truly running out of ammo now. I'm just my mother's shadow. That's an interesting line. So her mum, uh, I don't know if it's actually ever said in the games. I think it might be implied in the games. But she is actually a direct lift from uh, Dr. Halsey, who's the person who created uh, the Spartans. And um, uh, so Cortana is basically Dr. Halsey, which is kind of in many ways the mum of the Spartans I mean they, they at least have a very big attachment to her because they were taken as kids and she sort of brought them up really I mean in a military way and you know there's lots of really dodgy child you know, stuff it's a very dark beginning for the um, Spartans especially when you consider the fact that the Spartans all were uh, created to deal with insurrectionists basically um humans who didn't want to pay taxes to um, the UNSC um, so they literally just stole children from the outer colonies who you know were the ones who didn't want to pay the taxes 
So, you know, basically stole the kids from the people who were likely to become insurrectionists. Uh, used, like, tortured their children and turned them into super soldiers and then used those super soldiers on those types of groups of people um, and, like, it's super dodgy and bad and, like, really, not even, like, dodgy, really bad, really, really, not, I don't know if you want to say evil, but, I mean, we think of the Nazis as evil, I mean, they were, but, like, we include in that their um, testing, don't we, their experimentation, and really messed up stuff. Is this doing? Is this doing nothing to you? Oh no, you're dead. Um, so we like to think of the Spartans as, you know, a good thing, but they are—they're basically Nazi experimentation in some way. Like they're, they're obviously not the actual Nazis. They you know, don't think they don't have the same ideology as the Nazis, but still, I think we think of. The Nazi testing is a bad thing, you know, on people who can't consent. Um, so it's the same sort of thing. And then, oh, hang on, let's, let's yell at us. Time has taught me patience. For asking in new freedom, I will know all that I possess. Jesus, all right, chill out. Um, so obviously, doing it just to take out humans as well is even worse. But it happened to come in at just the right time that, oh, hello. It came in at just the right time that they were needed for the coven. And obviously if the Spartans hadn't come about, um, we would have most, well, we would definitely have lost. I mean, they would have activated Halo 1 and, you know, that would be it. Everyone would be dead. Coven and uh, everything. Everything would have died. So it is, oh, actually, you know, that being said, the only reason Cortana... The only reason that Halo 1 ring was found was because of Cortana. It was only about because of the Spartan program. So possibly they wouldn't have found... Well, Halo 1 wouldn't have gone the same way. We know that much at least. But I'm sure we still would have lost and the Covenant would have won and that would have been bad and, and sad. Um, so we're lucky that the Spartans existed. So we try to use that to almost justify their existence. But in reality, they're just kids who were you know, tortured, given... Effectively, superpowers. Uh, can you fuck off? And then save the world. That's kind of the story behind her. Um, that all came back because I was talking about bloody Cortana. That one line from Cortana, I just went off on a random rampage about Halo. That's fun. This is the thing, once, uh, I think I've mentioned this several times now, but I do. You know, so I do record this for the period, so apologies if I keep repeating myself. But um, I don't know who this series will be enjoyed by um first of all i hope it will be enjoyed by at least someone um but i don't know i don't really have a target in mind i i don't know whether it will be enjoyed by people who have never played halo and just want to be like hey what's this whole halo thing you know it's they've got how many games out gazillion games you know what's it all about why do people like it and so i want it to be accessible for those people that people don't know anything but I would also like it to be enjoyed by people who um, have played the games before, do know what's going on. Oh, what's this one? Oh, cloaking. I'll love that. Thank you. Um, who do, you know. Oh, we just. No, don't bring them back to life, please. Um, who do like uh, the games, know what I'm talking about, um, but can still, you know, get some enjoyment out of seeing someone else play it, you know, maybe remiss without actually having to spend the time to play the game. Um, you know, they can watch these while doing something else and just remind themselves of the story. So that's kind of that's kind of the goal behind this series. Um, uh, yeah, so apologies if those of you who know everything I'm talking about are just like, yeah, we know this, why are you talking about it? Um, but I'm hoping that people who don't know what I'm talking about might be interested and be like, you know, oh, there's, there's a lot to this game. And there is quite a lot to it. There's a lot. It's, it's the lore in its wider... It's the lore in its, like, um, in all the wider media and stuff. I feel like I've been in this room for, like, a million years. Um, because, uh... It's the books, really. I mean, I've mentioned before, I've, I've read all the books. Or, oh, well, I say that. I've read all the books up to a point. Um, as, as I've got older, I've not had the time, or... I've definitely had the time, but I've, I've put other things in front of it. I've done other things instead. Um, and um, 
Uh, can you not, please? And so I haven't read in a while, and there's definitely been way more books since I stopped. But, um... I did at a time where I had read all of the books. And I love the books. I love some of the really interesting stuff that they added to it and they built on the lore. Like, uh, one of the things that interested me was the uh, elites, um, their culture, uh, as according to the books. They... Can I have that? Uh, they don't find out who their parents are. So when they're... I know they know where their mother is, but they're not allowed to know who their dad, their father is. So they've got like a matriarchal society. Uh, sort of all run by women, or the, the females of the race, uh, sort of the, the one who do all the governing positions, because their whole entire culture is around being a warrior, you know, who can fight the best. I mean, that's what they contributed to the coven, so that's what they wanted, you know. Um, no one wanted to, no one wants to be a farmer. I think that's the exact line from one of the books that was really interesting, which is, after the coven breaks up, they don't know what to do with themselves, because they're all warriors, and they had, like, the grunts to do their bidding in terms of like feeding them food and damn it. Let's try that again. Nope. Right. And again. That ah, works. Um I had like the grunts and stuff to do their bidding in terms of food. So none of them wanted to be farmers, no one wanted to do any of that sort of crap. So they're kind of at a loss. Um and you you don't learn you don't know who you're oh, Michael Donna. I have walked the edge of the abyss. I have seen the Submit! End her torment and my own! No. I'm not going to do that. Um, yes, and... Uh, yes, yeah, so they don't know their father because they don't want that to... Ooh, there's lots of skeletons. Ooh. I noticed that before. Um, yeah, so they don't know their father is, and so it doesn't impact them on their, like, place in the world. They can't get, like, preferential treatment and things like that is quite interesting and, and an additional thing to the the law that we didn't know about otherwise is that about to explode it is um i really do not remember this level of, like the actual intricate details of it oh let me turn the lights out um yeah so i just find little things like that really interesting and it really builds out the world um that's kind of that's kind of it. I've, I've had a proper, I've gone off on a lot of tangents this episode. But to be fair, there's not a whole lot to talk about in this one. It's literally just never-ending stream of flood that you, you know, you fight. Oh, I thought that was a good grenade. But, oh, can I get there down this corridor in time? Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, it's transforming. Can you not? Thank you. Um. All right. Do I keep following here? Oh, I really do not remember this particular room. I think I remember this room from when it was in Halo 2 as the High Charity I think. I think it's the same room. It's very similar. But obviously it has been floodified. Uh, I guess I'll go across this weird flood bridge. It's a bit weird how they've just like built on this one 2D platform but haven't extended down or... Well, they have extended above but they haven't extended down. Hi. Cool. Oh. Um. Oh, hello again. You will show me what she hides, or I shall feast upon your bones. Don't you know where Earth's location is now, though? Isn't that the only thing that she knows that you want? I don't know. But yeah, there's another thing that I don't know, once again, if the Halo games actually talk about it. But there's a thing called... Oh. This is UNSC AI serial number CTN0452-9. I am a monument to all your sins. Jesus Christ. Um, she, uh, there's a thing called rampancy, where basically if a smart AI can only live to a certain amount. And if they live beyond that, they start going to rampancy and start going crazy. And this idea that Cortana is getting to that stage. Hi, Cortana. Are you okay? You found me. I did. There's two of us in here. Shit! Remember. I pressed A by mistake. 
I tapped it. No, I missed the cutscene. I'm so sorry. Um. Fuck. Um. I'll have the cutscene in now. Get me out of this. You found me. Oh, that music, man. But so much of me is wrong. Out of place. You might be too late. I love the improvements you know on the visuals. When I make a promise. <laughs> you keep it. I do know how to pick them. Lucky me. <laughs> do you still have it? The activation index from the first Halo ring. Ah. A little souvenir I hung on to, just in case. Got an escape plan. Thought I'd try shooting my way. <laughs> Classic. Mix things up a little. Just keep your head down. There's two of us in here now, remember. Ah, oh, such a good line. Alright. Hopefully the cutscene is played and you've seen it and we're all good. And now I'm going to uh, get out of here, which I guess is go back the way I came. Ah, stop it. I'm so angry. Oh, at last I see. The secret is revealed. What was the secret? I didn't see the cutscene. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I hope the cutscene clarified what he means by the secret. Because I've, I've lost it. Okay. I don't think it's Earth, because I'm pretty sure it already knows what Earth is. This reactor... Start a chain reaction. Destroy high charity. Oh, I feel like I've done this before. They do like to do the same thing in all these games, don't they? <laughs> Wait, gotta start a chain reaction, blow up another ring? Classic. Maybe it was a plan of how to blow up the ring, maybe? Is that what we gave him? But he wants the ring blown up, so surely he'll be alright with that. I guess it would kill his flood on the planet, so I guess he probably doesn't want that. Right, President, wait, can you go away? Right, this business button. Get away from me. God, I love energy swords. Imagine if the Covenant didn't have an energy sword. How much hot? Oh, freaking hell, that's a lot of hearts over there. Um, oh, yeah, I've got to destroy those things. Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> it's a huge delay, but it just. So satisfying once it landed. Booyah! Okay. I have a feeling I just did what I needed to do. Oh, oh! Go, 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 go! You heard it, Chief. Not for long. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going though. Destroy the flood once and for all. I don't know what these guys are doing. Um, where am I going? Can I have a nerf point? Nerf point, please. I am completely lost in terms of direction. This way? Yeah, I think I came through this like blob. Yeah, I did come through this blob. Cool. Let me out. Hello? Shit. Not this way, then. Um, what the fuck? Am I being an idiot? Where am I meant to go? An explosion just made us an exit. I'll mark it in your hut. Get moving. Oh, what? It does want me to go that way. Oh, there's a hole in the fucking floor. I didn't even see. <laughs> just saw the red door and I was all lost. All right, let's do this. And Geronimo. Whoop. Right, let's get out of here. No, no, we're running. Got to roleplay this. Okay, didn't mean to jump. It's okay. Oh, gonna keep heading. Uh, can you not? 
Hold that. I could have actually gone invisible. Oh, shit, have I just... This is not where I thought it was. Why would we put that random thing there? What was that all about? Oh, shit, <laughs> Hello, Shilo. I guess I keep going this way. Then. Try to get past all the pustules. Alright. I'm assuming this way. It's great. Is Grave Mind going to try and leave? No, nope, he still wants to hit me. Alright, I'm guessing I'm still going this way. Is that another hole? Yep, that's another hole. Oh, hi, buddy. Now, this was what I thought. It's this way. See, I knew I was an idiot. I knew there was definitely one that needed that area. That type of, like, um, corridor. Alright, another hole. God, I've got literally no idea where I am. But I'm assuming it's the correct direction. Thank God there's not more than one way. Oh crap. What's that SMG? Damn it. Why the f okay, cool. So get rid of them so they don't kill me when they explode. I might actually die. No, oh, cool. Jumped over them and made it. Oh. Open wide. I've Thank got you. a friendly contact. Who would be crazy enough to come in here? Ah, uh, is that Arby? Arby with a flamethrower! <laughs> so fucking cool. Hi Arby. You good? Hey, you two made nice? <laughs> oh, a lot of things actually. Glass half of earth. You come on, buddy. Should we get to the get to the pelican? You come in. I've got you back, buddy. Oh wow! Hello. You didn't need to bring me all these toys. Can we not just get in? Yes, we can. No, get off. Stupid grave mind. It's interesting their the use of stills in this. I don't know if they did it in the earlier ones. Yeah, I think they did actually think about it. But it's really noticeable in this one, like their use of like stills for all the cutscenes. Oh, it's the controller vibrating. And there we go, that was Cortana. Um Hopefully, I um, I accidentally pressed A and skipped the fucking cutscene like an idiot. Hopefully, I'll put that in and fix that. But yeah, it's a you know a pretty it's a bit of a slog of a mission. It's just fight flood after flood after flood around. Very, it's not it's not that the I want to say uninspired, but it's a bit harsh. It's not it's not uninspired. It's really creepy and gross, and you look like you're up some giant creature's bum hole. You know, it's just it's kind of what Cortana is. It's just gross. Map with gross flood, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a bit of a mere level, isn't it? It's just constant fighting of creatures ring corridors, but you know, it's it's fun enough, and obviously builds up on the story of rescuing Cortana and very flood heavy, um, and yeah. But anyway, uh, next episode we have the last of Halo Three, and then oh god, is it ODST or is it Halo Wars? I can't remember, but one of them will turn up the day after that. But thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Shook and Screw out. <laughs>